We'll lock him up and throw away the key. Let's begin. Now, of course, I didn't know about you, but when I was learning to drive, actually, hang on, but even before that, when I was a child, I was taught that if you see cars or vehicles with blue flashing lights on, you then must actually stop and let them pass. It's obvious, isn't it? Because someone somewhere needs help, especially in the case where an ambulance has evolved. Unfortunately, though, it seems that some idiot on the road thought he'd play God with someone's life with what he was doing to this ambulance. I mean, just have a look at this video. The article says that a man who repeatedly blocked paramedics as they were on their way to an emergency has been sent. On Wednesday, February the 2nd, paramedics in a marked ambulance for South Central Ambulance Services were driving along the A4 Bath Road in Reading towards Maidenhead, responding to a medical emergency of a collapsed man. Dee Cohen, the paramedic who was driving the ambulance along with a student paramedic, say she had never experienced an incident like it in her whole career. She said it just became quite clear that he was intent on stopping us from progressing and he was just trying to stay in front of us and was just slowing us down. It threw me so much then we just had to let our control know that this was happening. She added at one point he just stops us in Wargrave and I thought he was going to get out of the car and attack us but luckily he decided that he'd had enough. Well obviously I'm no doctor but I've got a feeling that that idiot driver might suffer from bell end syndrome because obviously he'd done it on purpose and had no idea what the emergency they were traveling to was. So I personally can't understand why he would do that at all because it could have been suffer someone suffering from a heart attack, being stabbed or whatever. I can't see any way that he can just justify this at all. And also, what would have happened if the patient they were travelling towards had died because of his actions? And of course, delaying the ambulance. And in my opinion, the sentence that he got for doing this, which you'll find out in a minute, is a complete joke and needs to be beefed up to act as more of a deterrent for future idiots. But first, I just want to say that all my subscribers are absolute legends, so why not click that button down there to become one? Albert Butler of Reading was sentenced to eight months in prison, suspended for 18 months after pleading guilty to dangerous driving and obstructing or hindering an emergency work in Maidenhead, who is also ordered to complete 20 rehabilitation activity requirement days, 200 hours of unpaid work over an 18 month period, was banned from driving for three years and given costs of £600. Investigating officer Mark Cadmore of the Rhodes Policing Unit based in Taplow said the manner of Butler's driving was completely unacceptable. In deliberately attempting to hinder the progress of this ambulance, he was putting other road users at greater risk and at the same time delaying an emergency vehicle en route to a medical emergency. This sort of behaviour of our roads will not be tolerated and we will take robust action against anybody who seeks to drive in this manner. And whilst of course you know, that obviously should be the case, it doesn't actually look like it was with these people who did a similar thing and therefore put a baby's life at risk. Anyway, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.